You've chosen a great course. This course will provide you with a large variety of tools to really understand the topics covered. You'll find a variety of explanations, examples, videos, simulations, worksheets, games, and projects, all designed to help you most efficiently learn the material. Online courses can also be used to provide you flexibility with your learning. You do need to be disciplined to make the most of this flexibility. Let's talk about how to get started with this course. Your first step should be to read through the course introduction materials at the top of the course, including the course outline. This explains the layout of the course as well as the grading and some other expectations. Now, to get started with Unit 1, you should start with the learning guide right at the top of each unit. As you work through the lessons, you'll be filling in your learning guide so that by the end of each unit, it will be completed and ready to submit. Make sure that your work in the learning guide is very neat and show or explain your work wherever possible. Instructions about submitting your learning guide to your teacher are found in the learning guide submission area at the end of each unit. Along the way through each unit, you may also find quizzes. These quizzes are intended to be completed right away when you get to them. Don't wait until the end of the unit to do your quizzes. These quizzes will help you determine if you're ready to move on to the next lesson. You'll build your knowledge more easily if you check your understanding using the quizzes at regular intervals. At the end of most units, you'll find a variety of projects. Now these projects are designed to help you relate your new knowledge to the real world. You can choose the projects that most interest you or best assist you in your understanding. When you get to the end of a unit, read the instructions related to the projects, and you can talk to your teacher to see if there's any particular project that they might recommend for you. Finally, here are some key ways to ensure success in this online course. Now, depending on the flexibility your teacher has provided for this course, you may have to gauge your own progress. If this is the case, try to ensure this course becomes part of your regular routine. You don't want significant gaps between study sessions. Also, if you're making your own schedule, make it a solid plan. Set an ending date and determine the rate of progress required to meet this ending date. Determine the deadlines for each unit leading up to your completion date. And last but not least, communication with your teacher is very important. If you have a question, ask right away. Don't wait. Your teacher wants to help you. Give them the chance. Keep these things in mind and succeed in this course. You can do it.